Hi, Chris. Hi. Uh, so as the author of Spoiler Alert, The Hero Dies, what was your reaction when you found out the film version of your book was going forward? I imagine that was pretty exciting. It was super exciting. I remember exactly where I was because, you know, it's a, a long process. And um, and until you get that official green light, you don't know if it's actually going to happen. But I was in, actually in L.A. Um, and I was driving and I was stopped at a red light and I saw that an email had come through saying that we officially, officially got the green light. And uh, it was just, you know, I got a little emotional. I was like, oh, my God, this is actually going to happen. This is amazing. I mean, you're, you're never going to forget that moment. That's so special. What was it like to watch your real life story unfold on the screen right before your eyes? What were you feeling when you finally saw the complete film? Uh, gratitude, first and foremost. Like, so grateful to have made it that far into the process and to have a, a film made. And also to have these incredible actors um, playing these parts. You know, it's just, it's a... Uh, uh, an embarrassment of riches. Like it's like li literally insane how uh, lucky I feel that it, this all came together the way it did. Well, speaking of the actors, were there any actors in the film that brought elements to the characters that you hadn't seen while creating the book? Like, were there any uh, that brought characters to life in a new way or new uh, characteristics to them? All of them, all of them did. You know, uh, Jim and Ben, they, you know, they made those roles their own, you know, and constantly surprised me with uh, uh, decisions or choices they would make. Um, and and also their their chemistry was just so amazing. And and the same thing with Bill and Sally. Uh, you know, they they made they put their own stamp on those characters and very much made them their own. Oh, it was so special. It was just like seeing these uh, real life people and peeking into their world. It was really wonderful. Oh, nice. Um, so we got to talk about the Smurfs. Do you still have your collection of Smurfs? And did any of your own Smurf memorabilia make it into the film? Those were all my Smurfs. Everything no you saw in my, that was my collection, everything that you saw, and only a fraction of it, I would like to point out. Um, that was just a fraction of the overall collection. Uh, yeah, no, those were, those were, and it was a little, it was a fun day on the set when we shot that, but it was also a little unsettling because it was the first time my Smurf collection was like out in the wild, sure. you know, being handled by someone other than me. So I, it was a little nerve wracking. Oh my gosh, I can imagine, but it was uh, quite a great moment in the film. So it paid off. It was worth it. Awesome. Um, <laughs> the TV set and sitcom style scenes in the film serve as beautiful storytelling mechanisms. Do you have a favorite sitcom or TV show from your own childhood that left an impact on you? And what drew you to that show? Roseanne, I think, would, would be the, the, the multicam sitcom that uh, I identified the most uh, growing up, uh, I think because it just really captured my sarcastic sense of humor. Um, and I, I, it just brought so much joy to me. And also it, uh, that show, um, arrived shortly after my mom died and I needed very much needed, uh, um, a, uh, a place to escape, uh, a reason to laugh. And, and that show was that for me. For sure. They say laughter is the best medicine, right? And I know that yeah. uh, we often, even in, in the film, which has some really heavy uh, moments, obviously, there's still moments that make us smile and laugh. So it was beautif beautifully put together in that way. Oh. What do you hope audiences take away from uh, the story in this film? Uh, I never like to project my own sort of opinions or, or, or expectations on moviegoers. I want them to sort of take whatever they take out of it. I think, you know, mostly I want them to be entertained. You know, that's what I want when I go to a movie. I want to be entertained. I want to be moved. And if we can check off both of those boxes, then we've won. There might be a few tears shed. I'm just going to warn you. You know, I was, uh, I saw with my husband and we, we were both wrecked for like 30 minutes out of the film, but it was uh, such a beautiful, Aww. beautiful experience for us to share. Um, thank you so much for creating um, this world of characters and sharing your own story with the world. And we, we all appreciate it. And congratulations on the new film. Thank you so much.